Well, good morning, Anthony. Stephanie Duncan has a special bond with running. That's because her doctors say her strong state of fitness just might have saved her life. Imagine having a living room, laundry room, and full kitchen all neatly packed into about 250 square feet. It's a concept that's been catching on all across the country, and now a local company is looking to spark interest in the trend right here at home. Well, hey there, Aaron. It is a busy night here, and you want to know the problem when you come out and work in the kitchen for a fish fry? They end up putting you to work, so I am being uh, kept very busy here uh, working the fryer here. It looks like we actually have some uh, going in right here, but I will go ahead and drop it in. Look at that, frying up all nice. Well, well, good evening, Jennifer. Police have been on scene here for several hours along Glendale Avenue in Tilton, where an armed suspect was said to have entered several residences, ultimately leading to what police described as a possible hostage situation. I'm joined now live by Tilton Police Chief Steve Cornett. Now, Rantoul is a community with plenty of businesses in and around downtown, yet many residents in Instead, choose to make that 15-mile drive down 57 to Champaign-Urbana to shop. It's the reason local businesses say they're pleased with the Shop Rantoul first campaign and how it seems to be working. The village of Rantoul estimates every year residents spend upwards of $90 million outside of village limits. Shop Rantoul first is a program organized by local businesses, and the village offers incentives and discounts to those who shop in town. Curtis McGee, owner of CNC Kitchens downtown, says the awareness of the program has driven more people to his restaurant and in turn sent a message that Rantoul is open for business. As you know, that's more foot traffic for everybody. You know, I know we're working our hardest here um, to be the go-to place when you want to come eat in Rantoul. You know, um, and it's like, if we can make here, it should invite other, other businesses to be like, hey, you know, let's go take a look at this place down there and see what we can do too. Businesses say the Shop Rantoul First program has also helped to bring in more traffic from customers who live outside of Rantoul, including many who come from Champaign-Urbana. Now, coming up tonight on WCIA 3 News at 6, I'll show you what Rantoul's village administrator has to say about the importance of keeping shopping dollars close to home around the holidays. But with temperatures staying warmer than usual this month, leaves are taking longer than normal to peak. WCIA 3's Ryan Burke has more. It's a crisp fall afternoon, and Tom and Margie Schwalick are strolling the trails at Allerton Park. It's been a long journey from their home in Florida to get here. We've got two seasons, summer and spring. So we thought it would be a great time to come up in the fall, see the beautiful trees changing colors. But as they looked to trade the palm trees for the maple trees, they were expecting to see a bit more red and orange. It just seems like it's a slow fall this year, but what little... I see, um, I truly appreciate because all we have is green. The Schwalicks aren't alone. Allerton's natural areas manager, Nate Becky has been taking to the trails to check on the progress of the colors. And while they're starting to pop, he says it's a long way from peak. This fall has been uh, a little bit different. It's been, it's been warmer. Um, we, you know, we had, uh, so when, when we're talking about fall color, you want cool, cool days, even colder nights but without freezing. You want sunny days and you want dry weather. And we've, so we've been warm and uh, we've even had a lot of warm nights. So the fall colors are kind of trailing behind this year. When it comes to this fall season, Nate says it really has been a bit of a mixed bag. Even though the leaves are changing a little later than normal, the warmer temperatures have also been bringing more people out to the park. You know, there's, there's people that come out for the color and the cooler weather, but there's also the people that come out because it's October and it's still 75 or 80 degrees. So um, we, we still have a pretty good turnout of people. With October temps trending about 10 degrees above average, Becky predicts colors will still be vibrant. It just might take some patience. Is it kind of worth the wait, you think, to, to get to see all this? Well, hopefully. Uh, the one concern would be that it will get a little bit of color and then the cold temps will drop the leaves so it might be short but it should be good from here on out good colors you can appreciate whether you're from monticello or miami to come up to this crisp air it just feels really nice and refreshing in piatt county ryan burke wcia3 your local news leader like so many other recent U of I grads, soon-to-be teacher Emily Sheridan hails from Chicago's north suburbs, an area with dozens of school districts. So when she announced her plans to start her career here in Champaign-Urbana, it came as a bit of a surprise. My family was very surprised um, because when I came to college, it was always, I'm going to come home right away. 
Um, once I graduate, I want to come home, live at home, save money, and do that. But in the last four years, Emily discovered something. She came to see Champaign and Urbana as more than a place to go to college, but instead a place to call home. The reason she's accepted a teaching job in the Urbana School District next year. You have to like open your eyes and like op and realize that there's a lot more to this area than just the campus. You're not committing to stay down here isn't just committing to stay on campus. There's so much more around here. One of the major ways to shatter the idea of Champaign-Urbana being a college town is to get students off campus. By getting to see areas like downtown, they see the full diversity this area has to offer. It's a message Terry Reefsteck and the staff at Visit Champaign County want students to realize. So campus has a lot to offer, um, but so does the community as a whole. So we work on engaging them in those things just outside the community because then they really start to see all the great things that there are to offer here that make it more of a livable place for them. Livable not just thanks to a growing variety of entertainment, events, and dining. Reefstack also wants students to realize the practical advantages of staying in central Illinois. Um, when you look at our surrounding communities within the state of Illinois, the cost of living is a lot higher than what the cost of living is here. And that is huge for a college student who's coming out most likely with a lot of student loans. Um, so not only are there a lot of job opportunities here, but there's a lot of way to make your money go a little bit farther. Champaign Mayor Deb Finan says keeping students in the city after they graduate is great for the local economy and can also be great for their careers. If you stay, you are embraced. At, you know, I laugh about being a townie, but you don't have to grow up here to be a townie. And, uh, you know, after you've stayed for some critical mass of time, you are an entrenched part of our community. Mayor Finan says deciding to plant roots in Champaign-Urbana often starts early during college by giving back to the community. You know, contributing to the place that they're going to make their home for either four years or eight years or however long that they are here, uh, I think doing that then gives them some roots that may allow them to realize they want to stay. For Emily, it was student teaching in Urbana that played a role in wanting to remain in the area. There's so many people who need our help and like want our help around here. I mean, I think people like I know at least from families like they're sad when our student teachers are there in the school and then they leave afterwards. Like there's a lot of those families who want us to stay. And so for those people, like that's why I want to be down here. Looking to make a difference in a community that's much more than just a college town, but instead a hometown. As the sun sets on downtown Champaign, things are cooling down, and Danny Woods is busy picking out a new coat he can enjoy. He's one of many people being helped out, not by a big, complex program, but by a simple idea that's having a big impact. Yeah, and it's, it's so easy to do. I mean, it's two of us and some pipes, and <laughs> it's really not hard. Lauren and John Began are Lone Star State natives who aren't accustomed to the cold. It's why when they moved to Champaign, they got an idea the size of Texas. Uh, we got up here and it's a lot colder than we're used to, <laughs> yes. so we really appreciate trying to keep, keep warm. And uh, we were looking for some way to help, and I was on Facebook one day, and to be honest, I saw this uh, um, uh, over in the UK and then I looked around and I saw a couple of other places in the United States that were they were doing something similar to this and I came home and I told Lauren about the idea and she said let's do it. The concept is simple put a coat rack out people can either donate a coat or take a coat no charge no questions asked. Yeah, we started by contacting the city, and everyone said it was a great idea, but nobody had the authority to tell us where we could put it. Um, so we contacted Cowboy Monkey and Blind Pig and Watsons, and all three of them responded within an hour and said, you're welcome to put it up on our patios. And um, so we just felt like this was the best location. The idea is all about making coats easy to get when you need one. Goodwill is a little ways away, so there are some mm -hmm. people who just don't have the transportation to get over there. Also, with this, um, it's just a lot easier. You can just walk up, mm -hmm. find something you like, grab it, and head on your way. In addition to improving accessibility, the coat rack also serves another purpose. Some people may not feel comfortable telling others that they're in need of a warm coat or any other clothes, but here, it's all anonymous. I mean, you can walk up, and like you said, you can look through, you can have a coat and be on your way, and I mean, nobody even knows. A simple idea making a big difference for Central Illinois.